There are more than three square miles of blue space, a recreational area for water sports, inside the city limits of Seattle. Seattle is a region surrounded and defined by water. Of all the water sports in Seattle, perhaps the most ubiquitous is rowing. Seattle has a nationally recognized outdoor and indoor rowing culture that is steeped with tradition and rich rowing history. No other city in the region is home to as many rowing opportunities. Despite Seattle's proximity to water, rowing and other water sports have traditionally only been accessible to a small percentage of Seattle youth. My name is Clayton and I go to school 1.8 miles from Lake Washington. 1.8 miles from Lake Washington. 1.8 miles from Lake Washington. And I go to school 1.8 miles away from Lake Washington. 1.4 miles away from Lake Washington. Two and a half miles from Lake Washington. Three miles from Lake Washington. In 2008, Rainier Valley Rowing, a program of the George Pocock Rowing Foundation in partnership with Mount Baker Boating Advisory Council, set out to change this. Specifically, Rainier Valley Rowing helps students overcome barriers to participation on the water and reap the social, physical, and emotional benefits of rowing as part of a strong, cohesive network of supportive teammates and mentors. You get to see the city and just Mercer Island and the mountains, and um, I really like just the whole atmosphere on the boat. When you get to think of your surroundings and see how fast you're moving past like the buildings and because it's really pretty. Like when you're in the water and you see all the water around you, and then when it gets dark, the lights come on. So it's just really pretty. So I like it. Sometimes it's disjointed and. Everyone's rowing at a different pace and it's no fun. And you feel like you're going to tip. Stay focused because when you're in the boat, there's a lot of, you can't talk for one, even though you want to. You can't talk, you have to listen to the coxswain. So I try to stay focused to the rest of my ability. So I kind of just think of, I don't know, one, two, three, row. That's kind of cool because you're using every other part of your body but your voice as a rower. And then as a coxswain, you're using everything. You're using your voice. You're using nothing but your voice. So it's kind of cool. You get to use everything as both a coxswain and a rower. You can't have a negative attitude about it at all or you won't get very far. I remember being in a four once, just a bunch of great guys, and we were out in the water. It was a really, really beautiful fall day. The leaves were falling and it was wonderful because we were all rowing in sync. We were going pretty fast. It was just great. Overcoming and removing barriers begins with education and hands-on participation. With the intention of meeting students where they are, Erg Ed provides an introduction to rowing as part of Seattle Public Schools' physical education curriculum. Through Erg Ed, students learn a new, lifetime sport that not only provides skills for health and fitness, but also connects students with real opportunities for continued participation in their community. So I teach PE at Akikurosi. My students loved Erg Ed. It was an awesome week. It was probably one of the best weeks of PE I've had in 15 years. It was really fun. Every single student I have participated and suited up every day and loved it. Some of my kids talked about the fact that sometimes they stick out in the mile or that they can't do some things, but they, every student was successful in, in rowing, and how it and specifically talked about how fantastic it was. I think I'll, I'll become better if I start rowing. I think I, I would like to buy maybe a machine or something, or have a machine at our school so we can practice. That should be a daily thing, actually, just to work out, because it really works out all your body. It's just fun to race. I've loved to race since I was like six years old. 
and at the end you're going to be in quite a bit of pain, but you can keep pushing through it. It's possible to do it, it's just more difficult. I know I have the strength and the ability to be a really great rower, but when you think about, oh my gosh, my legs burn, or I can't breathe, or, you know, this is really tiring, then that's what's going to slow you down. So I'm learning how to encourage myself, like, hey, this is nothing, you know, you've been more tired. Think about what you're going to do when you're on the bus going home, and you get to just chill out. I think the best part is just being able to go out and not have to worry about anything else, but you're you in the boat, um, rowing with your team. And I just really like that you just can forget everything else. Also, like, like it, you pushed yourself when you did it, so. I've never even heard of rowing before I started here, so it's kind of weird to tell your friends, oh yeah, I row with Mount Baker. Then they ask who's that. My mom is very happy for me. She likes, she likes different sports like this. She's just never been involved in sports. My dad, he's he's okay with it. He's really here. My grandma, she's happy, glad that I'm getting some exercise. My cousins tease me, and they always, you know, they don't really know what rowing is, so they're like, row, row, row. And I'm like, that's not rowing, but anyway. Rowing's had um, effect on everything in my life. Um, it's taught me how to, when the coach says, be there at a certain time. That means get there before that time. Like. I learned at Green Lake that um, when you're on time, you're late. When you're early, you're on time. 